Hello, absolutely nobody. This is the Firebolt here, and welcome back to our video. As you can tell, it's a little bit different of a video. I'm in person right now, so uh, <laughs> yeah. You're probably wondering where I've been. Uh, I took a bit of a mental health break about a month at this point. It's probably gonna be more than a month at the time of this is uploading. But I took a bit of a mental health break because this thing up here, it wasn't right, <laughs> to say the least. It uh, probably won't ever be right, but we live. Uh, I fell into a state of pretty bad depression. I just, I felt a love for all the things, a lot of things I love doing, like YouTube. Like, I felt like it was the same rinse and repeat stuff, like, over and over again. Just Dragon Veil video, Dragon Veil video, stream a bit, Dragon Veil, Dragon Veil. I just I I fell out of love and fell into depression even though I don't know why I did I had made the school soccer team I was hanging out with friends I was doing really well in school I just I felt like my life had no meaning basically mental health is extremely important to me I've battled with mental health issues for the past five years myself personally and I think it's something that's not talked about enough Mental health is one of the most important things that is not talked about in our society. We need to talk about it more. If I can spread awareness to at least five people in this video, I will be extremely happy. That is my goal with this video, to spread awareness about mental health. Even though I have like 770 subs, if I just, five people, if I get to have five people like be more informational about it, I will feel happy this video is done well. This video is basically me interviewing a couple of my friends, asking them about 10 questions and their response to it. Down in the description, I've left all of the mental health things I can think of, suicide prevention hotlines, mental health counselors and stuff like that, if I can find any. But seriously, if you're dealing with mental health, please get help. I don't want you guys to fall down some of the paths that I've had a couple of my friends fall down. You really don't want to fall down that at all. And you don't want to fall down the path I fell down as well with depression. <laughs> I should probably tell that story as well. Basically, like I said earlier, I've battled mental health issues for the past five years, I'd say. Started in seventh grade. In one week, I had three pretty bad things happen to me. Found I failed a math test, like a final math test for the semester. Uh, I broke up, my girlfriend broke up with me at the time. And I found out my cousin had cancer all in the span of a week in a person who had just start, who had just basically started middle school. Yeah, you can imagine what that does to someone's psyche. Uh, I luckily had a really good friend of mine pull me out of that depression at least and I am eternally grateful to that person. Then in ninth grade I got what I'm kind of known for for the concussion uh, and I went from playing four sports to zero. And like I said earlier, you can imagine what that does to someone's psyche. It really, really screwed up my head. Uh, I fell into a pretty bad save depression. Sorry. Yeah, it was... There was moments where I wanted to take my own life. I'm going to be frank and upright with you guys. There was moments where I wanted to take my own life. I had an awful teacher, I had done terribly in school, I wasn't seeing friends, I wasn't doing anything I really loved. It's kind of one of the reasons I started YouTube as well, <laughs> to kind of escape from that depression. I started it last summer, really again, doing up again, and that really helped. Mental health is super important to me. I've almost lost friends to it, basically, to Dep severe depression. I've almost lost one of my gr best friends to it. <laughs> Please, if you need help with mental health, just talk to someone. If you have no friends, talk to family. If you have no family, I mean, you can even talk to me if you want. You don't have to share any personal details or anything, but if you contact me in Discord and say, hey, fire, uh, I just need to talk, I'll listen. I'll listen to the best of my ability and try to help you to the best of my ability. All right, let's get on with the video. 
I have interviewed a couple people and asked them a couple questions. Uh, you'll see the responses to the questions here. All right, I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Bye bye. All right, so here's the first person we're gonna be talking to. His name is Vito. You, you guys were introduced to him in the snow vlog. Say hi, Vito. Hi. All right, so I've sent him all the questions for this video. I'm gonna ask him a question, then he's gonna to respond to it, and it's gonna be the same for every person, all right? So I'll start off kind of easy. Do you think mental health is important? If so, why? I think it, it is really important because it also could affect your physical health. If you're not taking, if you're like depressed, you don't really care about your physical health and that and that will lead to other um, effects on your body and then that could really hurt yourself too, you know? Yep, yep. All right. So for the second question, what causes you a lot of the time to have a dip in mental health? What do you do to bring it back up again? Well, what well, causes law, what well, causes for that is, um, ooh, I don't really know because, like, probably when I'm just, like, alone thinking, you know, and then I just tend to dip into that type of situation, and then, or sometimes I'm just, like, feel alone, you know, and, I tend to dip into the that type of uh, conversation and then it lasts longer than I usually hope it would. You know? And, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what do you do to bring it back up again? Boom. I bring it up. What do I do? Well, I just, well, I just talk about it, you know? just a conversation that helps a lot because just talking about it will help people and me and you know yep yeah I, I completely feel you on that all right yeah do you think that mental health is a growing issue in today's climate and society oh definitely you know because since with the pandemic going on um you're more at home and you're not socializing because humans are social are social animals and with us uh, having to be in quarantine your mental health is, is more than important you know because you have to socialize and because you're and people are usually alone too yeah i completely agree all right how has your mental health been affected by school it's not, my mental health hasn't really been affected by school, but I could feel like school has affected other people's mental health, but I just don't know how, but I feel like it could, you know, because it could be, I think, I think it, school causes more stress on people's mental health with all like the, of people's view of it, you know, like I have to get good grades or else my life will be terrible and all that stuff. You know, and then that causes stress on you. Yep. All right. How has your mental health been affected by friends? Well, you know it, but I've, um, you help me a lot with my mental health when I'm like down in dumps, you know, um, and you really help me pick me, help me pick myself back up when I'm just by talking. You know, and that really helps me a lot because just talking about about it will help people and me. You know, just like to let some steam. So you're saying people would help you through it, basically. Your friends would help. Yeah, you through people. It. Yeah, my friends will help me through it, and I think that's what you need: friends that will understand you and help you through the um, situation. Yes, it is very important to have friends who help you through this. Yeah, definitely. How do you think that social media is affecting your health? Social media, ooh. Well, it well it could help. It could help, and at the same time, to could, could um, not help because people could make fun of you, and that affects your mental health. Well. People to help rally around you, you know. It's like, it's like a scale, you know. 
like there's some bad side and there's a good side and it's just it's very unpredictable with social media you know because the internet is ruthless and once you say something on the internet it's there forever and people could still make fun of you and then that could lead you to into depression you know yeah. and that's very bad I agree with what you said. Do you feel like your mental health shows a lot of time, or does it tend to go unnoticed? Um, it doesn't really show a lot of time because I don't really, I don't really go through a lot of mental health. But when I, when I do, it's not very unnoticeable. Um, my dad tends to see like that. Um. I'm not the way I am, or you, you know, you tend to see that there's something wrong with me, and then you try to help fix it along with my dad, you know, and unlike other people, like, they, they, they have to go through stuff, through depression, but people don't really know because they have to put a facade in front of them, and that tends to lead them to to like suicide and all because like they're not getting help the what the way that people um they want you know because the people can't really see that they're going through depression and all. Yep. All right, we're gonna skip the next one because that's an old draft one that I left in by accident. Uh, do you think that you suffer or have in the past suffered from depression slash mental health issue issue in any way? Oh, I have. I suffered through depression. Um, one like recently, like I think it was like two months ago when we and you just start talking about it because I was in. I was just thinking about killing myself again because. Um, it was. I don't know. It was, I felt like I wasn't needed. You know, I felt like that. I was just a waste of life and all, but along with my, along with you, you helped me feel like, um, show me who I am, you know, how I help others and how I'm needed. Um, so definitely I have gone through it and I've helped other people to gone, um, help them out of it because I don't want to feel help them go through the thing I've gone through, you know? Okay. Yeah, I agree with everything said there. Why do you think mental health in recent years has gone down? Ooh, gone down? I think gone. I think it has gone up, to be honest. You know? Again, pandemic and social media has been has affected people's mental health. Um, because like that, um, social with social media growing, you know, it could lead into cyberbullying, and it affects people's health, and also with the rise of awareness of mental health and how it's important to you, your physical health. The awareness of that helps you because, um, it could save more people you know because like people are more aware of that yeah i i agree with what you said video all right thank you very much Vito. this was very insightful and i hope you're doing all right okay yeah anytime <laughs> all right all right bye. bye all right so this is the second person we'll be talking to today this is my friend vance say hi hello all right, so we'll be asking the same questions I asked Vito earlier today, and let's get right into it. All right, do All you right. think mental health is important? If so, why? Yeah, it's important kind of for the obvious reasons, right? It's just like physical health. I mean, if you're sick, you need to get, you need to get better, obviously, and you need to be able to have the support and the help that is needed. The thing about mental health is that it's not always as obvious as a physical in just in injury. So 
it it's it can be hard to diagnose someone it can be hard to ask for help because a lot of people don't even know that they have uh, a mental health issue but yeah it's important all right what causes you to have a dip in mental health and that kind of in response to that what do you do to bring it back up again I'm pretty lucky where I don't have a lot of issues with my mental health. I can keep myself occupied. I'm decent in social situations, but a lot of times it will be stress related to school. Um, the, obviously school and work <laughs> are the are the things that people do in life that aren't the most enjoyable things, but they're things that need to be done. So sometimes just for doing if if a week is very heavy on schoolwork and um work work then sometimes i can just get overwhelmed and stressed out um but if i just kind of step back take a day off i can and just spend time doing things that i like to do just reading uh watching youtube watching movies then i can bring it back up pretty quickly all right do you think that mental health is a growing issue in today's climate and society? Uh, yeah, it's definitely a growing issue for a couple of reasons. One of them is that we're becoming more aware that mental health is an actual thing that needs to be taken care of. So there are more people being diagnosed with mental health issues or recognizing that they have mental health because it's part of the uh, social conversation. Um, it also has a growth because everyone is connected and through the internet people can be anonymous and how has your mental health been affected by school well, i think i already said that but oh, yeah. Sorry. Just, <laughs> <laughs> i kind of covered that but even i think virtual school is making it worse um especially now with our new schedule where we have super short classes and not a lot of time to get stuff done and teachers assigning a lot of homework so yeah there's <laughs> it's it's a little it's a little rough okay how has your mental health been affected by friends i'm lucky to have some pretty good friends so it's it's not it isn't often affected by friends um I will say, I oh, I I am a uh, like fifty percent. I think it was I took the test. It was fifty one percent introvert and forty nine percent extrovert. So I'm pretty good at keeping myself um, occupied when I'm alone. So I don't get super stressed out if I'm not hanging out with people all the time. But I can also get together with people and be fine in social situations. What does happen is in personal relationships with or romantic relationships, that's where mental health can be extremely affected, um, especially for me, because there's a lot more drama. You put a lot more of yourself into those relationships, um, and when they get bumpy or they end, it can be very, it has been very uh, damaging for my mental health. <laughs> I think a lot of us can feel that as well. Yeah. How would how do you think that social media is affecting your mental health? Um, not that not that much because I stay off of social media pretty much, except for YouTube. Like I have Instagram, but I don't look at it. I just post there occasionally. Um, so I I, I don't know. I watch a lot of YouTube. I don't I don't know anyone on YouTube, and I don't post on YouTube. So. It's not really a social media for me. It's more just like watching TV. Um, yeah, I don't think it's affected it that much. Well, that's very good. But I, I, for for others, I can definitely see why it would. People who constantly use Instagram, Snapchat, so, but not for me. Do you feel like your mental health shows a lot of the time, or does it tend to go unnoticed? Um. Hmm. Well, if I'm angry or upset, it shows a lot. <laughs> it shows pretty clearly. But um, if I'm sad or upset in other ways, then it kind of goes under the radar. Or if I'm stressed out, 
it doesn't show at all. So, um, just, it kind of depends, but a lot of the times, no, it doesn't. Okay. Do you think you suffer or have in the past suffered from depression slash mental health issues in any way? <sighs> Maybe mild. A couple years ago, I had a pretty bad breakup. And I think I suffered a little bit then from depression, but I don't think it was diagnosable. So, no, I, I would say no. You were uh, you're among the very small cast that can say that, so you were very yeah. lucky for that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Why do you think that mental health in recent years has gone down overall, or do you think it it's has. going down? Oh, how do you know it has? Well, I, this this is just a general question. Like, I'm saying, like, do you oh. think it is going down or no? Oh, um, no, I don't think it is going down because during the pandemic, people were stuck at home with themselves and you can be your own worst enemy in a lot of mental health situations. So, no, I think it's probably gone up over the past year. All right. All right. That was all the questions, Vance. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, this was very helpful and I hope you have a good day. Good. All right. Thanks. All right. So this is the third person now that we're talking to. My friend Titan from YouTube. Say hi. Hola. Como estas? Okay. Apparently you're speaking Spanish today. All right. Let's get into it. Do you think mental health yeah. is important? If so, why? Uh, yes, Firebolt. And why? Okay. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't come up with in-depth responses. This isn't good. Hours later. Uh, come back to it, come back to it. <laughs> okay. Alright. What causes you a lot of the time to have a dip in mental health? What do you do to bring it back up again? Ooh, dips. Uh... Hmm. I don't know, just, just specific things that rub me the wrong way. That's, that's a big thing. Um... How do I bring it back up? I don't know. Taking a... Taking a mental break take a day off that's usually what i do okay do you think that mental health is a growing issue in today's climate and society yes largely and no one knows how to deal with it properly how has your mental health been affected by school oh it's been it's been shit man like i i i I don't think I've talked about this on my channel at all, but I, I was in public school for my like first half of freshman year, and I had to drop out because I, I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I mean, I had a pretty interesting freshman year, which I'll explain earlier in this video as well, but uh, <laughs> my brain's still not right after that, <laughs> to say the least. All right. How has your mental health been affected by friends? Mm, hasn't really been. I think I, I think I have a pretty chill group of friends. That's good. How do you think that social media is affecting your mental health? Hmm. I mean, in the, in the case of like, um, what's it called? Like interaction with people on social media, it's not bad, but uh, you know, be, being a, a wanting to like be an influencer, looking at all the the numbers is not a good thing to do like your your youtube statistics 100 percent, i agree with you on that <laughs> do you think that do you feel like your mental health shows it all the time or does it tend to go unnoticed uh depend depends on what kind of day it is usually unnoticed barely like it's barely um shown okay do you think you suffer or have in the past suffered from depression slash mental health issue in any way? Yes. Why do you think that mental health in recent years has gone down in the, oops, sorry. Why do you think that mental health in recent years has gone down? Gone down in what way? Like the, how, how's it gone down? This is, this is kind of a tricky question. This is a trick question I came up with my friend. The trick question. Yes. Like, do you think, 
like the overall mental health has gone down? Do you think like mental health itself has gone down? Like there's like less people with mental health issues? Like, oh God, why did you add trick questions? Why? Sorry. No. These are my kryptonite. <laughs> we can come back to it if you want to. Yes, come back to it. Come back to it. <laughs> Are you, so, do you think mental health is important? If so, why? Did you just go back to the top? Yes, because we've gone through all of them. Last one's not going in the video. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. Yes, Firebolt. It is important. And why? Because so many people like struggle with mental health and no one like knows how to properly deal with it instead of just like giving them therapy or something yep which 99 percent of the time doesn't work yeah i i can agree with that <laughs> all right do you want to just leave the last question blank and like not answer it or hmm give me a second to think about it okay i think it's gone down because a lot of you know, social media, everyone cares about their, their presence and appearance. So adding the the already haunting social, um, like, anxieties and stuff, you already, you now have, like, um, like, also the internet to, to look after. All right. That was very good, Titan. Uh, thank you. Thank you for coming on today, and thank you for answering these questions. Uh, of course. All right, we'll go on to the next person. See you guys then. All right, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be different, not different style, but going back to somewhere where I love. I'm hopefully going to be playing Minecraft again a bit more, playing with other people. Yeah, I just, I hope it works out. I really missed YouTube, and I really miss making content for you guys. And I know this is probably a different style of video than expected me to come back to, but it's a video I need to make. It's a video you probably should watch. Like I said earlier, all the links are down below for like mental health and stuff like that. Again, if you need to talk, talk just contact me on Discord. I'll listen. I hope you guys are alright, and you guys, if you are suffering from mental health, contact someone. And I hope you get better, because, like I said earlier... It's not a path you want to fall down, and it's not a path that you should really follow. Alright, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.